Welcome to Central Georgia Focused. I am your host, Caitlin Heck. There is more than luck to the story of success in the Dublin City school system. The school system has a vision of producing globally competitive students. Dublin City School says they're reaching that goal by preparing students to be effective communicators, problem solvers, and lifelong learners. So today we're learning more about the school system's tools to, to success. Our guest, Dublin City School Superintendent, Dr. Fred Williams, thank you for being here with us today. Uh, great day, glad to be here. Uh, you have been with Dublin City Schools for three decades. Talk about your time with the school district. I'm very fortunate, uh, graduated from Clark Atlanta University and came uh, to Dublin, Georgia. I was a uh, health and PE teacher and served there as a, as a football coach as well and wrestling coach and, and now uh, I'm the lead learner of the school system. And uh, nine years as superintendent, and don't you worry, he's not going anywhere. He'll be here for <laughs> another couple, right? Uh, yes, ma'am. I've been serving as uh, the lead learner, the superintendent for nine years, and uh, but I do have a, a new contract that'll start next year for three more years. Fantastic. Celebrate that big one. Oh, yes, 10 years as superintendent. <laughs> well, talk about the growth of Dublin City Schools since your time there. Uh, we're very excited about the growth that we have of our uh, school system in itself. Uh, the programs and offers that we have uh, for students. Uh, we're excited about that growth, uh, real growth in workforce development, uh, making sure that our kids are college and career ready. Speaking of that, you all have a new Career Academy, The Way. Talk a little bit about that and what that offers to your students. Uh, we have a wall-to-wall -wall Career Academy called The Way Workforce Accelerating Youth. Uh, with that, we have a brand new mechatronics program. Uh, we sat down with about 16 uh, CEOs in various industries in our community and we understood that advanced manufacturing is something that they really needed and so as we put our minds together being a charter flexibil uh, system with the flexibility uh, we implemented that particular program to make sure uh, that we we're producing the type of skilled worker that those uh, industries needed. And what are some other programs that are offered in that career academy? Uh, we have uh, welding. Uh, that's something that we're doing uh, with our accelerated uh, career program where students are uh, taking classes at the technical college as well, dual enrolled. Uh, they're also uh, getting uh, not only the TCCs, but some also have apprenticeship opportunities that they can have in welding. Uh, we have uh, cosmetology. Uh, we have uh, culinary arts. Uh, we also have uh, uh, criminal justice. And we have a program, uh, a childhood education program, where we're developing our own teachers uh, that's also connected with our new daycare that we started. Fantastic. And that takes a lot of resources, putting together a career academy like this, getting all of those different opportunity for students. But why is it so important? It's so important that kids uh, not only uh, just go to college or uh, but they also have a skill that they can, that can take into life with them. And so uh, we believe that we're doing uh, that. We're also making sure that the offerings that we have are directly uh, related to our regional workforce and the workforce that we have in the Dublin Lawrence community. And it's just extremely important that as kids leave uh, college, uh, excuse me, high school, that the next day they can go straight to college or work. And so we want them to have the necessary tools uh, with the jobs that are now and have skills for those jobs that are coming in the future. And you mentioned uh, a minute ago dual enrollment. Talk about that program and the success it's bringing to students. So dual enrollment in Dublin City Schools uh, has a two-pronged approach. Uh, there's the traditional uh, dual enrollment with the four-year institutions uh, such as Middle Georgia uh, College and State University. Uh, but we also have accelerated career uh, that is through the technical college system of Georgia, Oconee Fall Line. And so we have students that uh, uh, spend uh, most of their time uh, off campus at, at one of those institutions. Uh, also Georgia Military College or, or they're dual enrolled and on campus because we have teachers who are certified uh, to teach uh, dual enrollment in the courses and what that does it affects the economics of the parents uh, for those kids uh, they don't have to pay for that college with, with how Georgia is set up uh, with the traditional dual enrollment route uh, for those students who are going to a four-year school, but then the accelerated career route for those kids who are going uh, straight into careers. And so we're excited about the various offerings uh, that we have and all of the credits count toward uh, graduation. The difference between the, different, the traditional dual enrollment and accelerated career is that once a kid completes their content courses, uh, in the 10th grade uh, for those accelerated career students, uh, they are dual enrolled and then they are actually 
either working as an apprentice in a particular industry or working toward TCCs. And of course, that, that's so important for these kids to have all of these opportunities now. Talk about the difference in, in the type of learning and the type of teaching that you're doing now versus you know, 10 years ago, 20 years ago. So now uh, you won't see any uh, uh, chalk boards and chalk, <laughs> uh, you know, dry erase boards and dry erase markers were the thing. Now it's a lot of technology, a lot of hands-on activities, project-based learning, where students are put in real-world situations to solve real uh, world problems. Uh, we've had students uh, who are as young as sixth grade who have built PCs uh, and those type of things. And, uh, and as it relates to careers, a lot of people think that manufacturing is still the old dusty shops, but it's not as robotics. And so we're teaching uh, coding. We're partnering with uh, Georgia Tech, uh, Sean Mulvanity, uh, and he is working with schools uh, as young as elementary, a uh, middle and high school, to make sure that we're offering uh, the necessary skills so that our kids can compete in a global workplace. And so we're excited about those offerings. It always amazes me what these kids can do now. I, I was learning to type in the sixth grade. These kids are building computers and doing all kinds of crazy yeah. things. And we're very fortunate. Uh, we are a one-to-one -one school district. Uh, every student in the Dublin City School gets a brand new device at kindergarten, uh, fifth grade, and ninth grade. And so we know that software changes, technology changes. So when they hit those benchmarks, uh, we provide a new device. And so the kids are uh, actually uh, using those devices in every classroom that we have. Uh, but we also do, again, like I said, real world activities where we have different simulators. Uh, we utilize uh, AI. Uh, we have programs that actually where kids can reach in and, and, and pull out the heart and, and, and a 3D uh, representation and, and open it up and just really learn uh, some cool and amazing things where before all we had was books mm -hmm. and, and other things and, and charts on the wall and, and now it's just uh, so amazing to have those three different 3D uh, representations and the artificial intelligence as well. It's amazing how technology has changed the yes, way that kids learn now. <laughs> it has. Uh, now Dublin City Schools is a charter school system. What makes that different from maybe other school systems? Uh, the charter school systems, uh, school systems had to choose to either be a status quo. You only had two school systems that did that. Uh, majority of school systems chose to be strategic waiver where they would cherry pick the flexibility. They would cherry pick the state rules uh, and laws that they wanted uh, relief from. Uh, charter systems, we signed up for broad flexibility. And what that does, it gives us the ability and the agility to be very responsive to the need of each and every learner. Our number one goal is high achievement and success for all students. So uh, we know that that might not look like the same, but we want to make sure that we're giving every child what they need uh, to be successful in, in the arenas that they want to compete in for life. And so with that, uh, we have uh, relief from certain Title 20 laws. Uh, we have relief from uh, certain state board rules uh, that allow us uh, agility and responsiveness, such as class time, uh, the length of the day. Um, uh, and so seat time uh, is not something that we have to adhere to. Uh, the length of the day, we can make it as long as short. Uh, the length of the year, uh, those are some examples. Uh, also, when we look at the uh, teacher shortage, uh, one thing that we pride ourselves on, particularly in the way uh, space, is that we want to make sure that we have industry-specific and certified people. So our welder teacher, he didn't just come the traditional route. A cosmetology teacher didn't come the traditional teaching route. Uh, these are industry certified uh, people, uh, a mechatronics teacher uh, that bring that expertise. Uh, and so we have what's called professionally qualified staff that are able to do some specific uh, things and skills for our young people. And that's a part of that flexibility. Oh, we need to take a quick break, but when we come back, daycare for the district's parents with kids. We'll tell you all about the services in Dublin City Schools coming up next. Welcome back to Central Georgia Focus. We got our green on, so you know we're talking about the Fighting Irish in the Dublin City School System. We're here with Superintendent Dr. Fred Williams. Thank you again for being with us. I know the rules. When you're talking about Dublin, you got to wear green. When you're in Dublin, you got to wear green. 
I know, I've learned over the years. <laughs> uh, we've been talking about some of the services Dublin City Schools offers, and it's not just for students as well, it's also for teachers. You have a, a new health clinic that's recently come about. Uh, yes, we, we want to, part of our strategic plan, uh, we talk about on the go to efficient, effective use of vibrant resources, student and staff safety and health and well-being. Uh, we pride ourselves in student attendance, we pride ourselves in staff attendance. And we know that uh, health care is an issue around the nation. And so we wanted to uh, find a way uh, to ensure uh, that the health and well-being of our students and our staff, uh, we were helping to meet that need as well. And so we are uh, starting a, a health clinic there uh, in our school system where all of the students and staff uh, will be able to utilize that health clinic for their health care needs. Uh, we partner with the local pediatricians uh, to really uh, research and study uh, what's best for our community, what's the best fit, uh, because we didn't want to take patients away from our uh, physicians. So how can we uh, have a win-win for everybody and make sure that our students' health and uh, staff health is at, at the forefront? And so we were able uh, to um, uh, realize this, this health care. We have a behavioral health department and we also have four mental health counselors in addition to school counselors. And so we really take seriously the safety, the health, and the well-being of our staff. And talk about those mental health counselors and their role in helping your students. We are very excited. Uh, we had this uh, prior, just prior to the pandemic and through the pandemic, we were able to provide mental health services uh, for our students, our staff, and families. Uh, on our website, we have the Shamrock button. They can hit that button anytime, day or night, and we will respond uh, to those needs. Uh, we hook them up with various uh, agencies for support. Uh, they actually push into classrooms and they have uh, certain kids that they meet with on an ongoing basis uh, just to help uh, those students with, with the mental health challenges that they have. And it's, it's very exciting to see uh, the growth and the reward of how students are are progressing and doing better uh, in their mental health and, and it's it's just a blessing to have those that resource available. Absolutely mental health is so important especially for kids as they're growing up too. Another big resource you have right now daycare for staff. As a new mom myself I know that is a big <laughs> bonus. <laughs> that is that is a, a huge bonus with something about five years out that we had been looking at and planning. Uh, we wanted to be able to uh, recruit and retain uh, the best and brightest teachers uh, that we have. We know that uh, a lot of uh, educators are coming younger and in the childbearing years. And so we wanted to be able to provide that resource uh, as quality daycare uh, so that we can meet the own uh, in, an internal need. Also, uh, full transparency, this is a beta test. Uh, we're looking for those industries in our community that want to partner with us as we uh, do this beta test with the in-house with our own uh, staff children uh, so that we can partner with industry who want to partner with us well uh, as, 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 as business partners and we're going to look at uh, open that up so that we can help solve the daycare crisis that is a national crisis where uh, a lot of people, a lot of moms can't work uh, because they don't have a uh, quality daycare and we also do baby Irish where we have a uh, two uh, class reunions a year and so Dublin City School stands at the womb with their hands wide open and we work with parents uh, who have birthed just before pre-k age we teach uh, development appropriate activities uh, we connect them with different agencies uh, such as the library uh, such as uh, other uh, our OT our PT our speech language pathologists are there, our, our special education teachers, our pre K teachers, every school administration is there, and we work with the entire family on development appropriate activities twice a year. Uh, they get a little onesie, a cap and gown with their graduating year, and, and, and we just have a lot of different uh, activities that we do to promote early literacy and numeracy with the young people. That is absolutely incredible. I'm yes. about to move to Dublin. <laughs> now, now this, but this is so important because these kids are eventually going to be in your school system. They're eventually going to be there. And one thing that is not equal is uh, where uh, all kids coming into school. Mm -hmm. And so what I mean by that is the state has a certain benchmarks where kids should be, things that they should know and be able to do. 
Well, uh, some kids come from a less print rich environment. Uh, and so what we want to do is stand at every womb in our community and help every parent understand uh, how to help their learner progress developmentally at the appropriate rate uh, and with appropriate skills. Uh, one thing we have about nine teachers in our system and including myself who have the dyslexia endorsement and so we believe if we can stand at the womb and work with these parents that are baby Irish uh, that we don't have to wait till a kid comes to school to know that ne they need a certain type of help. And so we're able to provide, provide that before they uh, come to school. Now this kid doesn't have to be a Dublin City School kid. We are here to help all kids. So any parent uh, in our region, our community uh, that wants to be a part of Baby Irish is September 30th uh, at, at the uh, Irish Gifted Academy uh, gym. Uh, we start up about 10 o'clock in the morning. And so we're there uh, to again help and be a resource and provide resources so that um, uh, all kids can be successful in life. That's great. And can people sign up through that through the district's website? Or? People can sign up through the district websites, Dr. Takesha Thomas. Uh, we have Baby Irish information on there, and then they can sign up and, and go from there. And you said that is birth through pre-K? Birth through pre-K. And so we know that uh, early learning uh, really starts at home. Home is the first classroom, and so we really equip uh, the home with particular activities that parents can do uh, while they're cleaning, uh, such as storing the day for the kid and helping with language development. Now, uh, moving back to the, the daycare too, that's also helping, you said, grow your own teachers. Grow our own teachers. We have a teaching as profession uh, pathway at Dublin High School, and so those students go in and do practicums in our daycare uh, as, they, as they learn uh, just basic uh, teaching skills. Uh, and so we're also preparing our students who are going into the teaching profession with the, with the lab, so to speak. And our, our staff members across the district know that they have a quality place to, um, for their kids to be during the day and learn and grow. Uh, we have a certified teacher in there in Paris, and, and so we're excited. And then our teaching as profession uh, teacher, Ms. Blanton, Teresa Blanton, comes in when those students come in and so it's just a wonderful atmosphere uh, very exciting and we see a lot of progress uh, with with the kids that are in there now i'm sure they're having a lot of fun yes, too <laughs> well we have a lot more to talk about with dublin city schools we're going to take a quick break we'll be right back Welcome back to Central Georgia Focus. We're talking with Dublin City School Superintendent, Dr. Fred Williams. We've been talking about all the different programs offered for students and also for teachers and staff as well. Talk about how that has helped you uh, during what many districts are having trouble finding teachers and you're finding them and recruiting them. We are very fortunate that we have not had to the magnitude as others uh, experienced a teacher shortage. Uh, the teacher shortage is real around our state. Uh, is real around the nation, uh, but being a charter system, uh, we uh, try to find ways to differentiate ourselves and be uh, attractive to families, such as uh, what we're doing with our daycare. Uh, but we have really been able to go out to the different colleges and universities uh, and, and recruit uh, uh, teachers. Also, with the flexibility, looking at our specific needs, such as I said, in our uh, career academy and CTA finding those industry certified uh, teachers that can uh, teach. Uh, for example, if we have an engineering opening, uh, we might not have someone from the traditional route. We might go to Georgia Tech and get someone who majored in engineer and then teach them the pedagogy and, and support them uh, through academic uh, coaching. But uh, as I share with our central office staff, uh, we, we want to be like uh, uh, Kirby Smart and the rest of the crowd. You know, <laughs> recruiting never stops. And so uh, a lot of people like to wait until January and February to start to look for teachers. And we try to spot talent year round. And uh, we try to uh, talk to that talent and get, and get that talent uh, to come uh, to Dublin. And so things such as our daycare are very attractive. Uh, we know that in any work industry, the housing market is, is something that really limits uh, people from being able to uh, attract teachers and so we're looking at some solutions even uh, uh, in, in terms of uh, housing. I've been in conversation um, 
uh, about a couple of things with, with some stakeholders in our community, uh, our city government through the mayor. Uh, we, we've talked a little bit about housing, uh, and what that might look like for workforce housing. And so uh, those are some things that uh, we are uh, really uh, doing to really try to set ourselves apart uh, to be the place that someone would want to come and be all day. And in our school uh, system, we want the type of culture where being in the Dublin City Schools building is the best place that you can be all day. Oh, that is fantastic and a great resource too, yeah. you know, knowing that you're helping those teachers in all aspects of their life. Yes, ma'am. Uh, now, uh, something we've talked about recently, I know uh, in our newscast, is some active learning, some game type learning that you guys are doing over at Dublin City Schools. Yes, ma'am. We have the active floors and uh, we also have uh, other products associated with that that really uh, takes uh, the lessons to a different level, uh, things that uh, even with the early learning help teach phonics and phonemic awareness uh, so that kids can read but the students really get into uh, the active floors where teachers can actually put in questions and and other type of uh, 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 response drivers from students and the kids can uh, throw uh, balls at the wall to answer it and and just do different other uh, actions and activities and so it's really exciting to see the engagement um, in, in learning and so kids uh, are playing but they're learning at the same time and so in some instances they might not really realize that they're really learning when they're going deeper into learning uh, because uh, some kids are kinesthetic learners you have auditory uh, you have visual learners and some kids have to move and learn and so this is just another way to uh, attack those different learning styles now we were just seeing some video of those kids they look <laughs> like they're having a great time and burning some energy too they, they are yes ma'am and so it's, it's it's very exciting again we have to uh, make sure that we're being responsible yes we can use that but a kid also needs to pick up a book mm -hmm. and, and and turn the pages as well and so we try to have a healthy balance uh, between the technology uh, and, and, and the hands-on approach as well. Yeah. And I've heard a congratulations is in order a new grandfather to a little baby boy. Yes yes it's, that's, it's a different world and it's, and it's, and it's an exciting experience and uh, it really you know as, as an educator you know you're here for all kids and then it just also puts a little more wind in your sails uh, to make sure that, that uh, the experience that all students are experience is wholesome and is helpful and it's going to hoist them to higher heights as they uh, uh, leave uh, as, as graduates of, of our school system. And so uh, it also puts you with skin in the game as well, being that, that grandparent. And so, uh, but I'm excited and, uh, and I'm just thankful just to have that privilege and opportunity. Well, congratulations to you as well. Now, uh, congratulations on some graduation rates. You guys have Dublin City Schools have been having some pretty high numbers. We have had high numbers uh, consistently in the 90s, uh, consistently uh, competitive in, 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 in central Georgia, uh, and if not at the top, at, toward the top. And so uh, our projections right now, I can't go live on <laughs> what it is, but it's going to be the highest ever uh, for our school system and our schools, and so that's what we're projecting. And so we're going to get ready to put out the green bows again to match your dress and my tie <laughs> <laughs> all around Dublin as we green up Dublin in celebration of what, what the students have done, what the parents have done, our staff and the community have done because it really takes a whole village to educate and raise a child. And so we're very fortunate in our community. Oh, it definitely takes a village and you all are doing a great job taking care of, like I said, the whole student and the whole teacher and the whole staff in every aspect of their life. And thank you so much for being here yes, with us today for Central Georgia Focus and congrats on everything you all are doing over yes, in Dublin. Thank you so much for having us. Well, thank you so much for joining us for Central Georgia Focus this week.